What's going on guys? No Slack Novak here with episode 4. Episode 4 of Sim Airport. So, last episode we did quite a bit. We finished up our flooring over here in kind of the security baggage claim slash ticketing area. Also our little exit, exit uh, I don't know, nooks, whatever you want to call that, our exit hallways. We did build this first class lounge, which not really sure if that's really being used right now. Um, that's something we might actually have to attach to a certain airline. Now, there are going to be airlines that we're going to want to work with, have kind of like a special relationship with them. And the reason why that is... Ooh, I accidentally built new flooring in the first class lounge too. Got rid of that carpet. Oh well, it is what it is. Not a big deal. Um, but yeah, we might want to attach that first class lounge to a specific airline, kind of build a little bit of a stronger relationship with them. Uh, now, in order for us to be able to do that, we're going to need some offices over here. Um, that's kind of getting knocked out. However, it's on the back burner while our workers do the flooring. Um, they're knocking that out over here. I don't know why. A little bit of a visual trick there. I thought, yeah, look at that. You zoom in, and all the squares are nice, even, you know, squares. And then if you zoom out a little bit, they look, they start looking like rectangles. That's not just me, right? I mean, like, these two right here are squares, and then you got a long rectangle. Two squares put together. Hmm. I'm not going crazy. At least I don't think I am. $122,000. Still making about $88,000 a day. We should be able to build this out as much as we want. And then, like I mentioned, um, we are going to start working on paying off that loan. Because right now, we do have a bank loan of $950,000 remaining on a daily basis. Daily. Every single day, we're losing $64,000. Over $64,000 getting paid off to some bank somewhere with 6.7% interest. Almost 6.8% interest. And I don't like that at all. Giving our money to a bank just because they let us borrow a little bit of cash. Now we're down to just under $25,000 because of it, because of all that interest, because of all of our expenses. We have to pay for fuel that we supply to the airlines. However, for every gallon of fuel that we refuel for the airlines, we get a 10% increase on that. So that is a service I'm very happy to be able to provide. I still want to get the baggage claim in. That might get done at the end of this episode, towards towards the end of the episode at least. If you guys are just joining uh, the channel, hit the like button for me. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I want to say that we are we're over twenty six thousand, over twenty six thousand subscribers, which is absolutely awesome, unbelievable. Double checking that right now. No, I lied. Man, 26,000. I was messed up. 21,600. That's what That's what I was at 600. It's It's been right around that 21,600 for the last few weeks. Hopefully we can bump that up. Bump those numbers up. These workers are kind of taking a while. Uh-oh. We're getting little notifications because this stuff isn't working properly. 77%. Uh-oh. So, okay. 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 Um, I think we might have to hire some more workers, but we can't because we're down $64,000. Uh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. We have the maintenance room here planning to be built whenever the workers get to it. Now, I wish there was a way. Here we go. Priority. Let's make this a little bit more urgent. I want this done first. Because then our maintenance workers are going to be able to work on fixing anything that needs fixing. Come on, guys. Speed it up a little bit. You guys just waiting on somebody. To, there we go. Box got delivered. They took the supplies out of the box. And bam. I need a door, too, guys. Toolbox. Yep. Building the toolbox. Good. Now we have that. Uh, maybe we need to hire another repairman, too. Throw a door in there. Oh, nope, looks like he's going to go get some tools. Let us follow him around. Beautiful, look at that. 78%, 79% fixing that right up. And that's going to that's gonna be working here shortly. 
Good, good, good. Beautiful. Good. Now the security guys can come back to work and actually start doing their job. Excellent. See, because we have a little bit of a line here waiting on waiting on that. But that'll that'll be resolved here very soon. Good. I'm glad that I got knocked out. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Little bit of uh, flooring left to be done here. 3.40 in the morning, our flights are going to start coming in too. And this is going to be the first day of us having a crazy flight schedule. As we can see down here, we are we're completely loaded up. Look at that. From 6 a.m. all the way until noon, it's pretty much nonstop. We managed to squeeze in four flights um, at each gate. So in total, from 6 a.m. till noon, we're going to have... Well, really, from 6 a.m. until 11 a.m., we're going to have four flights, or sorry, eight flights come in. I'm a little curious if we're going to be able to actually accommodate all eight of those flights and if they're going to be able to leave on time and all that good stuff. That's something that I want to monitor here. They should start coming in, start landing here very soon. I know it says 6 a.m., but typically they come in a little bit earlier. There it is. 5.30, okay. First flight is in, second flight is in, and then let's see, let's make sure this is smooth operations. Mm, yep, 100% boarded, and this one is just getting started halfway through. I like how people are using our ATMs and our vending machines too. You can see that down here. So both of those flights... And look at that. They leave and these guys come in. Beautiful. Let's check something real quick. Flight management. Um, no, it's not there. Flight status. Here we go. Departed. So they were supposed to depart at 730. Both of them. Both of them were supposed to land at 6. They actually landed about half an hour early. They were supposed to depart at 730. One departed at 630 and one departed at 7. So we are still good. We have a nice little cushion there. So now I'm a little bit less worried about being able to accommodate all eight of those flights in the morning time. And if we're able to accommodate them, then we might want to look into expanding our, our flights for the afternoon as well as the PM. I wish, see, I, just, I don't want to work with these Lernieville guys. Their planes are too small. I want to work with the bigger airlines, with the big boys. And that's exactly why we need to get those offices in place. So let's go ahead and knock that out. We're going to build the wall. Right, one, two, three, four. Beautiful. Wall's already there. We're going to do that. Let's go ahead and knock out. Um, here we go. Dismantle. We're going to dismantle this wall over here. Dismantle this over here as well. We do not need the maintenance space to be any larger. Now let's go do some doors so that people can actually get into their offices. And then what else do we need in the office? We need the office desk and we need an office chair. I don't think we need any kind of um, like cabinet. I'm thinking of prison architect where they want you to have a filing cabinet. So that's good there. Office space is coming in. Let's go ahead and designate that as office as well. I think we can actually do that. Beautiful. Good. Three offices. Went from zero to three pretty quick. Now, who can we hire? We have plenty of staff. We have the security. We have the workmen. We have janitors. I think, do we want to hire another janitor? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we're, I think we're fine for now. We don't need more chefs or retail workers. Let's check out our admin staff. Um, we do need a sales rep and this is, let's do that. We're going to hire a sales rep. Um, just, just one. We're just going to hire one sales rep. They're going to take over this office and this is why we wanted this. You guys will see here shortly. Sales rep is going to go hang out in their office. Now let's pause the game real quick. Um, is it flight management? Mm, where do we go? Maintenance, runways, commercial pricing, we don't want to change that. Runways, we are fine. Fuel services, we're still making the 10%. We're good there. Maintenance, no, I want to leave that alone. Where do we have our relationship? Finance hub, maybe? Or is it... Nope, you know what? I think it's down here. Staff, nope. 
Staff schedule? No, don't want to mess with the staff, staff schedule right now. Man, I don't remember. Airline interest. Oh, there it is. There it is. You click on the airline that you want to work with. So let's see. Who do we have a good relationship with? As a matter of fact, let's just see. Who do we have the most flights with? Um, I'm seeing arrow time. We've got one, two, two arrow time. Uh, that's it. Just two, three. We, we work with uh, arrow time on three flights. WestJet, we've got one... Just one WestJet flight. Um, Juno Connect one, two. SparkJet, we've got one, two. Man, I thought we'd have better relationships with some of these airlines. Atlantic International, one, two. Nope, so I think Aerotime. Aerotime is the winner right now. Let's check out the arrow time. That is a 737. Um, the arrow time. Where's the other arrow time? Arrow time here is a E195 90 passenger and four. Let's just go with arrow time. So here's what we're going to do. Arrow time. We have a 57% relationship with them. What we're going to do is we're actually going to assign them a rep. And now what we will see here. See. So they trust us, 73%. We have great service reliability. Our commercial fees, they're, they're not too happy with the commercial fees. And the communication is really what they dislike. Um, we don't have too good of a communication with them. So what we're going to do is we're going to hire the sales rep. And let's watch this. So right now, arrow time is at, we'll see already at 62. It was at 57. Now it's at 62. If we speed up time a little bit, let that work. Let's also start researching some stuff. I think we want to unlock finance. And then, let's see, do we want to maybe do technology? Advanced security, advanced ticketing. Operations will give us the option to have more detailed gate control, land expansion, light rail. Man, um, I like finance though, because it's going to lower our property taxes and all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to research finance. And then I'm thinking, let's also do, let's do construction. And that's going to wait until finance gets done. Once finance gets done, it'll do construction. And then once we get the finance, we'll hire, I want to say a, I don't know if it's going to be a chief finance officer, a CFO. CFO, and then we'll also be able to unlock the finance VP eventually. So that's something we'll knock out. I do also want to get a, a boardroom, a conference room. That's something that we'll build up here. Um, let's, we have $141,000. Most of that's going to go away though here at about 1130 midnight. How are we doing right now? Let's slow down time a little bit. And let's kind of evaluate some stuff. So we're, we're making 96000 almost $97,000 a day. Not bad. That's not bad at all. Terminal usage, all that stuff looks good to me. Our passengers, uh, passenger throughput for the day. We had, uh, okay, that's not a bad number, 1,100 arrivals. 26 were on connecting flights, meaning they just kind of stayed at the airport and then they got on another flight. Um, ooh, 1,131 successful departures. Zero missed departures, that's awesome. Um, total passengers, first class, two. What do they mean by total passengers 12? Hmm. Total passengers 12. Arrivals 12. Not quite sure what that means. But look at that satisfaction overview. So boredom was at 71%. Frustration was at 99%. And in, in this case, um, the higher the number, the better. So when you see that 99% frustration, that doesn't mean 99% of the passenger, passengers were frustrated. That means that, um, you know, they're, they're satisfied. They're good in that area. Environment's 94, rest is 97, good. Bladder's 91. All right. Um, I, I feel like we're better than that with our restrooms. Uh, hunger is at 70 and thirst is at 73. Wow. Okay, so apparently that cafe is just not cutting it. Interesting. Okay. I'll take a look into that. Information's at 77%. We could probably get a little bit more of the uh, signage up. Let's take a look at that. 
what kind of signage can we get? Um, if we type in info, flight info displays large, extra large. Look at that. Flight info display extra large. And then there's a kiosk too. I'm thinking, why don't we get a couple of kiosks? Where can we put these bad boys? What if we did, hmm, like maybe right as you walk out of security, you can bam, like right there. You walk out of security and you can check. No, hold on. This is a kiosk? I guess so. Is this even? One, two, three, four. No, it's not even. Uh, that's unfortunate. I like my stuff symmetrical, man. Let's do this. We'll put one there. We'll put one there. That way a few people can use it at the same time. And then we'll put in a extra large flight info display along. I kind of want to put it along this wall, but I hate how you can't see it. If we were to do that, you know, let's do this. Let's put, again, not symmetrical. Oh, well. We'll put one. Uh, sorry, guys. I know it's not that important, but <laughs> I want it to look good. I want it to look pretty. And I want it to face us, too. We'll do something like that. Might be overkill, but that's what we're going to go with. And then let's go ahead and do a trash can, garbage bin. Throw that bad boy right there. And just to make the area look a little bit better, maybe we'll put a few more trees. We'll put a tree there. We'll put a tree there. And then they can still walk around. They can still cut through. Shouldn't be an issue. Knocking out the kiosks over here. That should help. So let's let's double check real quick while we're at it. Um, why does it not show me the numbers anymore? Because there are no passengers. That's why. That's understandable. As the passengers leave, it doesn't show you their satisfaction level because there's nobody to really rate their satisfaction on. But I want to say it was at, it was in the 70s. It was in like the mid 70s. Look at that. Airport's just empty. I don't like it. I don't like it. I wish we could have people here 24-7. And I'm not 100% sure as to why we can't get those early morning flights coming in. I think we probably just need to get... Um, Get some better flight contracts. And then look at that. Our airplane, it was at 52 originally, then it bumped up to 53. Now it's at 55, the airline interest, right? And we're working with Aerotime. So Aerotime is at 64% now. Communication still not all that great. The trust is a little bit better, but the communication is not really going up, up as much as I would have liked. They do have a rep working with them too. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe we can get some more flight contracts with them too. It looks like we do have Boeing 707. Are those are those the big boys? Are we able to do that? So it's the Aerotime. Yeah, see, they do have more flights, but we, we don't have the availability to pick them. See, you can, oh, or maybe that's just the ones, no. Yeah, see, look, requires a runway at least 150 in length and requires an, eight, uh, an aircraft gate that is large. Right now, we just have the small ones. And if we do want to build a large one, let's check this out. I, I want to say that the large ones have to be on the second floor. So aircraft gate large, yep. Outdoors only. I mean, come on, that's pretty obvious. You're not going to have an aircraft gate and doors. And then requires a door to the terminal on floor two. That's one of the reasons why we're doing the research, the construction research, is because that's going to allow us to then build escalators. And we need the escalators to be able to get up to the second floor. So we'll start knocking that out here eventually. Are people using? Yeah, look at that. People are using the first class lounge. Beautiful. Good. I'm happy with that. Passenger satisfaction's at 92%. Boredom is pretty high. Um, the information is good, though. That was in the 70s. Now it's in the mid 80s, 83%. Hunger and thirst is something we still need to work on. And then the boredom. Now, for boredom, there is a possibility of putting in an arcade... Um, the few times I've messed with the arcade, though, it hasn't really been used all that much. But, I mean, it, it might be worth it. What if we also did... Hmm. 
See, and this is the thing I don't like about putting these windows in. It's because when you put these windows in, now when you kind of expand and you and you build more foundation, it's just unnatural to have a window like into the arcade. Not a huge fan of that. I didn't forget. We also need to start paying off that loan. But, and then we do have the uh, ATM and that over there. And then I did get rid of the drink. Ah, oh, man, I got rid of a couple of things over here. I think I got rid of the ATM and then also the, the food vending machine. Um, I kind of maybe want to put those back. Let's do food vending. Let's put, let's put that along here. And then another reason why we shouldn't have really done the windows right there. But we'll do a food vending there. And then we also need the ATM, right? Because that's a phone charger. Yes. So let's do another ATM. And then I want to do, I want to help with this food situation. So we do have, let's see, bar, uh, bar small, bar large. Bar will uh, do drinks like coffee and soda. Candy display. We have all that stuff. No, 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 you know, oh, that's, okay. We don't have a store. We just have the cafe. So we could do like candy and all that good stuff too. Coffee kiosk, that'll help with a little bit of the drink. Hmm. Maybe I was mistaken. Maybe the, maybe the bar is something different. Maybe the bar does actually have like alcoholic beverages. Uh, dessert kiosk. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's do this. Sushi kiosk, snack kiosk, health food kiosk, dessert kiosk, and coffee. Hmm. I mean, we, we're already selling coffee. Maybe we need a bar. How big is the bar? Is that something we want to put over here or do we want to expand? I think we want to expand. Hmm. It's going to cost a lot of money doing the expansion. And we also need to put the flooring down over here. And put in the conference room. Let's start knocking this out. Mm -hmm. Foundation. This is what we're going to do. We're going to put in an arcade and we're also going to put in like a bar area. I think uh, 74, 81,000. Uh, let's make it a little bit larger. Let's just do the full $100,000. Bam. We're going to start knocking that out. Construction crew is going to get on that. Uh, maybe we need to hire some more construction crew members. Get that knocked out a little bit faster. And then I also want to put the flooring down here. What kind of flooring are we going to use here? This is like the executive room, right? So I'm thinking, what if we did, I kind of want to do carpet in the offices. What if we did like this blue carpet up in here, up in here, up in here. Um, stone, that's kind of interesting. I like that. Mm, I'm thinking in the maintenance office, we'll probably just go with the regular floor that we use like in the restrooms and everything. But then throughout the rest of the area, I'm thinking, what if we did something nice and classy? Like some of this darker stone. Let's do that. We'll go a little bit darker stone over here. We'll use that probably in our conference room. Maybe in the conference room, we'll go with um, some carpet as well. We will see. We will see. But I think this looks decent. Little bit of a weird change in the flooring, but I, you know what? The way I make uh, make that justified is it's it's like you're breaking up the area, right? You're going through security, now you're in the terminal. You're leaving the terminal, and now you're in like the exit area of the airport. You're gonna exit, you're gonna get out of here, or you're gonna go into the baggage claim. I think I think it looks good. I kind of like this blue carpet over here too. Add a little bit more color to the air uh, to the airport. Oh, man, look at that. Minus $42,000. See, if we didn't have that $60,000 loan that we had to pay off every single day, then we wouldn't be in the red right there. We wouldn't be even concerned about bankruptcy. But unfortunately, that is something that we have to deal with. Um, let's worry about this for now. 
So I do want to do let's do the kiosks. Um, what kind should we get? I'm thinking, well, if they're complaining about food, maybe we should get some food. We already have sushi. Um, I'm assuming the snack kiosk is going to be like pizza. We already have that too over there in the cafe. What if we got some healthy food? But see, that's avocado on toast. We already have that as well. Hmm. What if we did this? What if we did a ca uh, a cafe? What if we did... <laughs> I, I turned into like a Bostonian there for a second. What if we did... Oh, insufficient funds. Yeah. Well, what if we did like a coffee um, kiosk over here? And then down here, we could do a bar. I think that's what I'm going to want to do. We're going to have to wait until we get a little bit more cash. That shouldn't take too long. As a matter of fact, look at that. We already got it. So coffee kiosk is coming in. Almost did it again. Coffee kiosk is going to go right there. Let's go ahead and do a small bar. We're going to put that bad boy right there. How much does that bar cost? It's almost $30,000. Holy smokes. That is an expensive, uh, expensive, expensive bar right there, man. All right. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll make money off of it. It'll be an investment into the future. 27000 Come on, a little bit more. We need one more flight to come in. There we go. Good, good, good. So we'll put our bar right there. We'll make a little bit of a seating area over here, I think. And yes, I know it's walled off right now. Not too concerned with that. The construction workers can magically teleport through walls. Um, you're missing some staff. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Let's put some more seating over here. Um, table. Now, ooh, coffee table, coffee table. Let's do, ooh, man, these are nice. Let's just do the standard white coffee table. We'll, we'll kind of put those throughout here. Maybe something like that, and then chair, chair, table, chair, chair, table, chair, chair, table. Nothing too crazy. We'll do something like that, and then I want to put the arcade up here too, and then we're also going to need some chairs, right? Uh, I wonder if they're going to be able to just stand by the tables and not actually have to sit down. That's something we'll kind of experiment with, because if that's the case, actually, you know what, let's open that up. Manage staff. We're going to hire two more workers. They're going to go in there. They're going to work. Let's go ahead and eliminate that wall now. And let's do maybe something like... We'll do something like that. All right. Workers are coming into place. Now, they're not going to be able to sell anything right now just because they're not fully stocked. As you can see here, coffee, 0%, and then down here, cola. See, look at that, the bar. <laughs> Fizzy lemonade and cola. That's what they're selling. That's not that's not what a bar should sell. But anyways, they're at 0%. They're not stocked. So we're not going to be making any money off of them today. I'm very curious about whether or not these people are going to be able to use these tables without any kind of chairs. I'm leaning towards no, but we'll find out. We will find out. I do want to put the arcade area over here too. At least a small one. Maybe we'll be able to do something else over here too. But you know what? That's something that we're going to leave towards the, uh, we're going to leave that for the next episode. We'll put it in arcade next episode. For now, we do have $169,000. Holy smokes. Let's pay off a little bit of this bank loan. So we owe, daily we're paying sixty four five. Let's pay off almost all of it. Let's pay off as much as we can. Now we're down to 62.6. So we just saved ourselves $12,000 every single day that we don't have to pay the banks. And now instead of owing 950,000, we owe 775. So we're gonna continue working on that. And on the next episode, we'll worry about putting in an arcade um, to kind of help with the um, the boredom, as you can see there, the boredom is probably the thing we need to work on the most. 60%. So 40% of our people are pretty bored. I, I feel like the arcade is going to help with that at least a little bit. And then we were also at, let's see, information's up to 88%. I'm happy with that. Our airline interest, let's see, we started off at 57 with Aerotime. Now we're at 67. That's good. 
communication has shot up to 86%. They're still not too happy with our commercial fees, but you know what? That's the way we make money. Right now we're making $97,000, so we're close to making six digits um, on a daily basis. Just got to work on eliminating that debt that we owe to the banks, and we should be good. If you guys enjoyed this episode, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, stay tuned for a few live streams coming up. Um, we got the webcam in, the camera in, so we're going to be able to do a face reveal. And maybe, who knows, maybe by the time this video is out, we've already done the face reveal. I'm not sure. I'm kind of playing this by, you know, by the seat of my pants. Anyways, guys, follow me on Instagram, too, if you haven't. Uh, just created a new account there. I'm enjoying that so far. Uh, got a you know nice little reception. We're up to something like 50 followers in just in a couple of days, so I'm more than happy with that. But, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.